Hello everybody, this is Kaizen here and welcome back to our FTB Ultimate Reloaded playthrough. Now, you may have noticed behind me I've done a few things differently to the end of the last episode, just kind of put a bit more detail around the house. Now, I've just done it on this side for now, so uh, you can see how it looked before as opposed to how it looks now. If you guys like it, then I think what I'll do is do it the whole way around. So please let me know if you like this or suggestions you have and we'll get to work on that. Obviously, this is doubling as a storage area as well. So, got a few different things going on in there. Is it me, or are those chests really quite loud? Um, potentially. Is that, uh, that's a little bit better. So yeah, let me know if you like that, and we'll do the rest of it. But today, we want to progress through the pack a little bit more. And so, one of the things we're going to need to do is a bit of mining, I would say. So, I figured what we'll do is set up a mine somewhere around here. So, let's just uh, clear a little bit of an area here. Um, just like that should be enough. And I figured that would be kind of cool to head off down this way with our mine and get our resources like that. Because obviously to progress through the pack, that's what we're going to need to do. So what I'll do is just do a stair mine down like that for now. And then we'll probably upgrade that later. Um, and then I will kind of make it look nice here. So we'll do some buildings around it and that sort of thing to make it look good and get some resources. So I kind of need to like go away and just dig a bit of a tunnel down in that direction. And it'll be keeping it near our house that way as well, which is cool. Hopefully we can build a bit of a complex around this area, you know, from the start house and then the mining and then keep adding things to it as we go along. So let me go and dig out a bit of a mine and get some resources and then we'll come back in and get to building it. Well guys, it happened and it didn't even take that long to be honest. I've just been down here at Y11 for a little while. Um, I'm actually going to need that. <laughs> and uh, came across diamonds like right away. So what I want to do is take just this one right here. And there we go. We've got the advancement. we got the diamonds. And this one right here is going to be very special. This is going to have a very special place at our base. So I'm going to run back up to the base right now and get this thing done. Um, now... As we're going up, I'll tell you the story, actually, because on the way down, you'll notice there's a big area here that's just covered in cobblestone that I kind of patched up. And you'll see there's a little plank sticking out there. And basically what I did, I just stumbled right into, and you can kind of see on the mini-map in the top right, an abandoned mine shaft. And it looks like quite a big one as well. Like, it's pretty pretty good looking on the, on the, on the mini-map there. So, we should be able to get a ton of good resources from that. And what I was thinking is, we've got the abandoned mine shaft down there. It might sync up to the one that's in the ravine over that way. Um, I'm assuming it does, but if it doesn't, then, you know, still good. But I've also found a village that I haven't yet explored. So, uh, let's just get, I don't know, a load of these made up. Uh, so what I was thinking, I'd ask you guys about is, where is it? Here we go. Um, now, I always forget the recipe for these, actually. I think it's like that, right? Yep, there we go. Um, is whether you guys would like to do a bit of an adventure episode while we go and do the, the uh, abandoned mine shaft and also um, do the village at the same time. Now, what I want to do with this is put it up here. So do let me know in the comments, guys, if you'd like to do that. And we'll put that up there. And when I get enough iron to make an anvil, which I'll do once I've been mining a little bit more, um, we'll name it our first diamond. And that will always be forever up there. <laughs> so that's kind of awesome. So I'm going to go and finish doing a load more mining right now. Uh, let me know if you'd like to do a bit of an adventure episode or not, as a bit of a one-off for this series, perhaps. Um, and I will crack on with that. And then we'll come back and build the sort of mine above ground area and try and get that looking good. Alrighty guys, so we are back from our mining trip, and uh, we got a pretty good haul, as you can see here, some really good beginner resources. Um, really glad to have gotten some rubies and sapphires, because we can make tools out of that. They're about the same level as iron for most things, uh, so that's pretty good. It saves us having to spend any more iron on that kind of stuff, so that's good. Um, also, blocks of redstone are a thing. You just find them lying around, so that's why I got so many blocks of redstone, but that's also very cool, because that'll be useful later on. And I went and got the rest of those diamonds. We've got five more, and our one beginner one that's over there. Uh, now, on me, I have a few resources here to go and start building the um, the mining area that we're gonna kind of use so this is at the moment where it is right just kind of go down that way but eventually it's gonna be three wide so it'll be like that basically um, and then we probably want some space around it so we maybe come out to like here for each thing um, but maybe we want a bit of an entrance as well so I'm thinking if we go uh, one two three and on the fourth we'll place a block there and there and then if we do the same back here to keep the symmetry that should work well so one two three and on the fourth um, yeah, that should work okay. That should be okay. So we build it like that maybe. Uh, but I'm just thinking as I do this, do I want it to be kind of offset? Um, so the, the cobble, if we use cobble walls in between, maybe we want them one further back. So I think that's what I'll do. We'll put this here all out by one, like this. Uh, this, uh, by the way, is great wood locks. I thought uh, I want to use you know different materials, not just use the same old oak logs every time. So while I was out and about, I managed to find myself a great wood tree. And uh, I thought it was quite a nice colour, um, quite a dark colour. I like the dark woods, so I thought that would look cool for what we're doing here. Uh, now, as far as the walls go, 
Um, what do we want to use? Um, let's see. It's going to be a mine, so I guess maybe some like disorganized bricks would be cool. Um, these here look pretty disorganized. Let's try these out. I think these will be good. Um, and also, do I want different textures maybe throughout the wall? Hmm, that's a that's a thought. I could do that. Maybe the bottom row, in fact, should be a different texture. So if we do this, build that up to say there for now, and then try some different bricks along here. That could be a nice little touch to just make it look a little bit different, a little bit unique. We'll just try a half stack of something that is, say, uh, maybe this one. Yeah, maybe some actual bricks there along the bottom. So let's see how that will look. I think that's going to be cool, you know? I think uh, we'll just give it a little bit of a different texture, and I think that'll look a lot better than if it was all the same thing. Um, and this will, of course, come up here and up here, and it'll probably go higher, but we'll just do this for now see how that's looking yeah okay that's not too bad um looks kind of mine shafty right <laughs> um so now we want an entrance way and the entrance way maybe we leave it quite open and we actually have it where you can just kind of walk in and there's not actually doors so that could be the way to go with this i think looks like it's turning nighttime at the moment it is indeed it's quite cool actually the sun sets behind my house and then rises in front of it so in the morning my house looks pretty good i have to say um it's just to do with the, the shaders obviously yeah it looks really good in the morning the way the light kind of shines on that um so yeah this will just kind of go all the way around like this what i'm not so sure about is how we'll do the roof um but that's okay we can figure that out sort of semi together um and let's fill this in one thing I'm struggling with is recognizing when it's actually nighttime. I think I mentioned before, I don't really use shaders that often. So it feels like it's really dark and I try to go to sleep and it's like, nope, it's not bedtime yet. Oh, look at that though. That's cool. Tree shadows. Um, all right. So this doesn't need to be super tall, I would say, um, given that it's it's a mine shaft and really we're going to be going in a general that way direction, right? Um, one thing I will do is just put a couple of lights in here, try and stop things uh, spawning in here throughout the evening. Very good. Um, and yeah, I think the, the, the wood and the cobble is going to work well together. What I'm going to do now is attempt a few different roof designs, and I'll do that off cam because I think it's probably going to take me a few goes until I get one that I'm happy with. Uh, one thing that's kind of cool is we're going to have this mine here, and then the oil's nearby, so we could have like an oil mine in the future and maybe make that look cool as well, have a bit of a mining area. And the other thing I want to do today is get a farm going down by the river here. So I think once we've got that, this little area is really going to start taking shape. And to be honest, we can almost build like a bit of a town out of it around this area. So I think that's going to be pretty cool. As I say, guys, do let me know if you have any suggestions down in the comments. And uh, I am always happy to have a little explore of them. So let me try a few different roofs out and then I'll come back when we've got something that looks kind of good and we'll go from there. Okay, guys, so our little mine is now built. Um, it's, you know, it's good enough. It does the job. Uh, went for a bit of a flat roof here. Just thought that would be kind of fitting. Um, and then just kind of a, a, a bit of an open plan area with the fencing going around here at the top like that. Uh, on the inside, just put down some wood and flooring. And obviously, this all needs to be like extended out and stuff, and I will do that. Um, but for now, it's kind of fit for purpose. I think it's, uh, it's a nice little house for our mine. And eventually, I'll connect it up over there with some path and that sort of thing. Uh, but what I want to get into now is a bit of farming, because we are going to need food, obviously, uh, going forwards. So I figured a good place to do it would be down here. Um, you see I've built these kind of areas here that the squid are getting uh, trapped in by the looks of it, just to kind of bring the water into this area. And I thought this is where we could farm, basically, like all along down here. Uh, so I guess we want to start near the house, but not too near. So maybe like here is a good like distance between. Uh, so then we can walk down and go into the farm or up here if we build like a little staircase maybe up along here so maybe i'll put that like there-ish yeah that could work so in that case i actually think i want to start one more back so i'm being a little bit fussy maybe but hopefully it'll pay off in the long run <laughs> uh so we can start here and of course it can only go four so whenever it's less than that i think i'll build the bank up although actually maybe we want like a one gap between where the farm ends and there so we can put like a half slab as like a little way up maybe so one gap would take it to there and we'll do it like this the whole way through. Uh, one, two, three, four. I, I know we could go a bit further, I suppose. For now, maybe we just hoe the whole area. And then I'll kind of get into the details of it later on. In terms of what we're going to be farming, uh, I just want to keep it to two things for now. Which is um, corn, because that's kind of a useful beginner uh, resource there to get some good food going on and also some wheat because uh, not only has that got its uses in terms of the food we can make from it but also obviously we can breed animals with it like cows and things so that's pretty useful all around um, let's just get like a little bit more here done 
and I guess we'll call it a day there. So I think what I want to do is we'll get some corn along here like this, like a little patch here of corn. Uh, maybe going, or maybe leave it there. Then I want like a big area here of, um, yep, yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> that's why I'm going to need to fix this up later on. Uh, but a big area here though of wheat um, going on in the middle. And then we'll do some more corn at the other end. That's kind of the plan. So yeah, definitely, uh, you know, food obviously is a really important thing to be getting early on. And I'm trying to just get some good fundamentals down to take us through the game. So getting our mining sorted out, getting our food sorted out, these two things are really important early on. So I'm, I'm happy that we've got that done. Hopefully that'll be uh, good fundamentals, as I say, for it, to help us progress through the pack quicker and more efficiently and all that sort of stuff. So I think that'll look quite cool um, once that's done. And it will kind of add to the, the scenery of the area as a whole. Uh, the only thing is uh, what I want to do about, you know, having a bit of a staircase along the back or something. So maybe we come in a little bit like this and, uh, you know, it could always be a little bit of grass in between the farm and the staircase. But I think the staircase being there would be a good idea uh, in general. Maybe put that one back like that. Okay. Um, so let's go have a look at getting some slabs down. Now, what have I got? They're all in here, aren't they? So we've got a load of these from before, uh, but I actually think that the oak horns will probably look better. So let's make up a few more of those. There we go. And just kind of throw them down here. It's a bit of a staircase-y sort of thing. Yeah, that kind of works. Doesn't look the best, though, on these corners. Hmm. What do you reckon, guys? Does that look good enough or not? Yeah, I might play around with this, get some other things done, and, uh, you know, get the farm looking good, and then bring you guys back in once I've done that, because generally this sort of thing, you have to do a bit of trial and error. So let me go and have a play around with some designs and get something that looks a little bit better than that. Okay, guys. Well, our farm is now pretty much done, um, at least for now. You know, it's, it's a basic farm, of course, just for some early game resources. And in the future, it'll probably just be for the aesthetic of it looking quite nice along the riverbank. But for now, it's definitely usable. Uh, you can see here I ended up going with some frame slabs, some uh, stone slabs, basically, uh, as the pathway kind of up here. Left a bit of grass around the farm as well. And it's coming along quite nicely. This is what a fully grown corn looks like. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Uh, pretty tall thing as well. And when you're in amongst it, you can get lost quite easily, which is quite nice. Could definitely be some cool things you could do with that, particularly on a server, but uh, certainly in single player as well. And my wheat's all grown here, and one little trick for you guys early on in this game is there's a really useful fertilizer that you can make. So you can go mining and get appetite quite easily. It's just a blue looking ore. Um, in fact, if I put in here uh, appetite, you'll see there that's what it looks like, okay? Uh, and you see there Y54 to Y96. You have to do it pretty high up, and you'll often see it on the surface in like rocky areas like those, you know? Um, but basically with that, once it's mined, you put it in here, sand either side of it, and you get eight fertilizer per one. So it's a ton of fertilizer you get back. And the fertilizer is really powerful. Now, it works on vanilla crops. So, you know, obviously with our wheat here, we could use it quite easily. And that time it took three, but I find on average, especially if you let the farm grow just a little bit first, they only take about two. So it's pretty decent uh, fertilizer, uh, but it will not work on the uh, corn. So, oh, Oh, that was, oh, I just harvested it, but it won't, that was fully grown. If we go to one that isn't fully grown, it won't actually boost its growth. So yeah, just a, something to point out there, but certainly something useful for the vanilla crops early game. Uh, now, I did also build just one other thing. You can see here, we've got our little dock. So now from the front of the house, we come out here and we've got a little dock there waiting with boats. Uh, this boat's kind of floated off a little bit. So let's get in there and, um, oh yeah, of course it's that way, isn't it? There we go. <laughs> so the idea being that you can hitch your boat up here and just get right out like that onto the dock. So that's kind of cool. I was thinking in the future, I wonder if there might be a way that uh, perhaps using chisel and bits, if I could make these boats kind of tied up or something. Uh, I'll have to look at that. I want to check actually, if I go at chisel and bits, is chisel and bits in here? Yeah, so uh, chisels and bits is in this pack basically guys. So yeah, we could potentially do something with that later on. Um, I also added a bit of a sugarcane farm going down there as well. Again, I thought that might look nice stretching off down that bank, but also we do want the sugarcane for all kinds of different things throughout the pack. Um, so things are starting to take a little bit of shape right now. Um, it's pretty cool. And I noticed actually these have started to grow. That's interesting. Maybe the I got rid of these grass things that are around it, so maybe they actually prevent the cranberries from growing. Okay, that's kind of... Oh no, because that's right there. Hmm, that's very strange as to why that is then. I have no idea. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of taking place, right? Like we've got a couple of buildings going on. We'll extend on that. 
Um, if you guys like this, as I say, then we'll extend this around here as well and do some more detail work. But for now, definitely we've got a bit of a place that is taking shape. And I'm pretty happy with it, to be to be fair. Um, but unfortunately, guys, that is about all that we have time for in this episode. Of course, uh, this is a series that I'm going to be doing a full series on for the uh, the whole mod pack, basically, going all the way through. Um, so I'd love for you guys to get involved. So leave a comment if you have any suggestions or ideas or you just want to say hi, just whatever you like. Um, and also, if you like the video, leaving a like would be very much appreciated. It gives me a good gauge as to whether you guys actually want to see more of this or not. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe for more of these videos coming on a very regular basis. So guys, as always, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.